none of it makes sense. The problem is that we're taught as children this ball earth lie. What about the people in Australia? You know, they're standing on the bottom of the globe, won't they fall off? <laughs> They fake moon they shoot landings. It out into the space. They, they fake take the moon landing. A pic- Show space me a real satellite. picture. Show me a real but picture. Listen, all the pictures and images from space are CGI. Zika will be the first of many viruses over the years because the world is flat. When I drive from Florida to California, it seems flat to me. The middle is the North Pole, and the sun and the moon go around like that. <laughs> Why is there land at the equator? Doesn't make any sense. You see the globe. Now consider an airplane. And look at that. My airplane is upside down. Hey, AJ, do you want to talk about how you think the Earth is flat? Do you want to talk about how your feet are flat? There's no photo of the round Earth from That's space. That's not true. What you're seeing here is a mirage. Because we've all been brainwashed by scientism. The world, the world is, is not flat. Yes, it, is. it could be a cube. We don't know. Hello, my name is Jed Myronson and I am a cuboid. Being a cuboid really is about uh, an individual or a group of individuals who uh, collectively have come to understand a certain truth. A lot of people previously have believed the earth is flat. Some of them believe it's round. Uh, But what we've come to understand through a kind of mixture of just logic and pure science is that the earth is in fact a three-dimensional cube in space. We knew that there was no curvature of the Earth. You know, we'd ascertained it wasn't round, purely because we, we, you know, anyone can stand, you can look to the horizon, and for all of that distance, there's no curve. Look, I mean, does that, does that look like a curve? Oh, there's hills. Are they trying to pass the, 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 what, the hills off the curves now? Where are all the curves? You know, I can see from all the way over there to all the way over there. That's as far as the human head can turn. And I can't see a curve. All of the kind of pillars uh, who orchestrate our society, whether it's our government, foreign governments, CIA, FBI, you know, they all know. They all know. Are there really great secrets that you know that you can't share with people? Yeah. Yeah, there are. I'm not telling you nothing. (laughs) The problem that we face is that we know the truth is never going to come out by itself. Three shots were fired at President Kennedy's motor... You know, everyone says, why did JFK get shot? There's a lot of evidence, a lot of evidence to suggest that he was himself a cuboid. He was going to expose... He was going to expose... I mean, what shape was the car he was in? It was car shaped. Well, and what shapes a good, what's a car shape? If you were to draw a car, it would be a rectangle, wouldn't it? And what's a rectangle? It's an extension of a cube. I mean, the pyramids. Everyone says, oh, well, it was probably slavery, probably took decades and the sweat of thousands. Or it's one cube that's split apart. Because no one can build a triangle. All we're trying to do is just turn people towards the truth. The clues are there all along. You know, we're essentially made of cubes. If you look at something flat, you know, like a pencil or a ruler, look at it through a beer glass, what do you see? It introduces a complete optical illusion of curvature. What we're actually seeing is straight lines. If you finally understand that something you've been taught since the earliest time you could speak has been false, then you think, well, what else is false? We're perpetually going across the surface of a moving cube. You tell me, you tell me, which would you trust more? We are about embracing people and bringing people together. So all I would say is just reach out to us, join us, and help spread the message. When the revolution happens, we're we're, we're the ones who are gonna be leading the party. There's only one shape that has three dimensions, and it's a cube. Should we still 
debate whether the Earth is flat. <laughs> no, I'm asking you. We don't have time for a meeting of the Flat Earth Society. That can graduate someone into adulthood who cannot tell the difference between what is and is not true about this world. <laughs>